What's going on family? It is your man DeAndre Saxon back for another video. I'm in a different location because I just got done scripting out my new Instagram ads that I'll be talking about right here in the video. So super low key, straight to the point. Uh, if you're watching this, I'm documenting the journey of me scaling and growing my school community to $100,000 a month. Um, you guys can watch my past videos to know about my uh, experiences and follow me along the journey. So here we are, who we are right now. We're on day three, and here's some of the things that I worked on in the last 24 hours since the last video. So the first thing I went ahead and did was I made the VSL. So as you guys know, when you're inside a school community, there's a video that people land on, which is on the about page, which gets the which tells people about what your community is essentially about, right? So you guys remember that I think day one or day two I went ahead and organized this list already, but I had to create a VSL. I I think a VSL or video sales letter is the best way to educate your customers on what your group is about, what are you offering, who exactly you want to attract into your community, and uh, repel certain people away. So what I went ahead and did was I uploaded it here, but what I essentially covered in this VSL, I want to show you show it to you really quick. You can see it here, it's on YouTube. I titled it, Welcome to My School Community. By the way, this VSL is live on my YouTube channel. You can go ahead and look, you know, click the link in my description on YouTube, and you can find it right here. It's about 16 minutes long, and it's really in depth. And the reason I did that is because I want to attract the right people. If somebody can't sit down and watch a 10 minute, 15 minute video, do they have to watch all 16 minutes? No, but if they watch at least half of it, you know, 10 minutes of it, that's good enough for them to really understand who this is about. I'm going to repel the people that I don't want into the group and have the people that I do want. I'd rather have 100 people that are super qualified, want to be in the group, super engaged. We all have the same uh, value pillars versus 1,000 people that are not engaged and just a, a dead group. So what I essentially covered in that um, BSL was this. I, I'm, it's funny because some of my uh, clients and my other businesses are asking me for this kind of sheet because this sheet... Has, is helping me guide my direction and where I'm taking my business. So I call this my personal brand worksheet. So essentially what I did was I wrote down some of the things that make me me, the things that I like, the things that I want to talk about, things I would like to do for free, but you know, if I can turn it into a business, even better. So some of the things I talked about is my brand pillars. I talked about who exactly is my niche that I'm working with. I wrote down my offer messaging. I wrote down something that is called my unique mechanism. So what separates me from every other guru that's trying to uh, sell school scaling or teaching people how to grow their school community? Well, I talk about something called lifestyle design, where we talk, drive exotic cars, smoke cigars, date beautiful women, live in foreign locations, do fun exotic activities, along with us living, you know, making 10, 20K a month using our school community. So I call that lifestyle design, which is using our business to fund a nice lifestyle. So that's what I'm using as my differentiator. So in that video, I talk about how this is one of our principles, how we want to live in foreign locations. I talk about some of their pain points and so on and so forth, and some of the consulting pillars. So this is the consulting pillars are basically the teaching areas that I want to be sharing and documenting uh, in the group. So as I mentioned, I believe in yesterday's video, I talked about how I want to move my, my angle from, hey, I'm going to help you build this 10 K a month school community into, hey, I'm documenting this journey. I'm not an expert. Would you like to go along with me on the journey as I test things out to grow my group? So it's more of a documenting energy. Hey, I'm your big brother guiding you versus I'm the expert. Come follow me because I don't want to do that right now. I just don't have the confidence for it. I, even though I built a seven figure business, I personally have never done it here on school. It's the first time I'm attempting it. So same, saying things like I help you build 10K a month, which I haven't even done myself. It's just something that my beliefs and integrity can't really do right now. So rather than try to shout from the mountain and say, I'm the expert, I'm just saying, hey, I'm documenting the journey. Come, if you like the same things as me, come join the group. I'll be showing the tactics that I'm doing to grow my group and in turn, you can grow your group, right? So more of a documenting big brother energy, okay? So I went ahead and uh, we did that. So I made the VSL. The next thing is my personal brand worksheet, which I just showed you a couple seconds ago. I, I, that sheet probably took me about 12 hours to organize. And I, and I continually adjust them maybe every week or two to get in there and really fine tune. Who am I as a person? I like this phrase, know thyself. If you're lost in business, if you don't know what niche, if what you, who you want to work with in these different things is probably because you don't understand yourself very well. So really getting an understanding of who you are, what you like, what you dislike, what kind of people do you like to work with, what kind of clients, if you get a good understanding of this, you'll have so much more fun in business. So I call that the personal brand worksheet. What I'll do is I'll, I'll, I did it for myself. I haven't really organized it for somebody else. So if you, if you go ahead and you join my school community, I'll probably put a worksheet in there all for you guys. And I not probably, I will. So go ahead and go in my school community, join up. And I will put a worksheet in there so you can do your own brand worksheet so you can be really dialed in when it comes to your offer and your messaging because that's the difference here when you're building a school community is two things. Number one, 
personal brand. People are joining because of your personal brand, your face, the things that you like, the things that separate you. And number two, you, you got to find those things that do separate you. What is it that you like? Do you like, you know, cars? Do you like anime? My little brother loves anime. I think it's the weirdest thing in the world. To be honest, anime is not my thing. I try to look at it. I'm like, bro, what is this stuff? But he loves it. And I know there's communities around anime. I don't like it, right? But what I do like is I like smoking cigars. I like traveling. I like, you know, these are the things that I like. And that's what, what we have to do is you have to find those things that make you different, put it out there into the world, run ads, and you we, you can begin to attract your niche, okay? So I'll go ahead and organize that brand sheet and I'll put it inside the community group, okay? Next thing was I, I went ahead and I fixed the, the IG pin post that I have on my Instagram. So let's go ahead and look at this. So obviously we're on the desktop version. So I decided, as I talked about, and the last video that I'm implementing a G implementing a GTA Grand Theft Auto theme onto my Instagram. So what I went ahead and did was I put these highlight covers on my Instagram and right here it says start S T A R T. You can't actually see the IG section on the mobile phone. So obviously on the desktop it's a little wider. So when somebody lands on my page, I went ahead and updated the, the bio that says I, I share how I build 10 K a month school communities with IG ads, all right? So I went ahead and updated that. I put the highlight covers, and this is kind of like a rough draft. I'm, I'm gonna be updating it as times go on, but like I said, what I'm trying to implement is a brand theme where some people use purple. Like if you know Alex Hormozzi, his colors are purple. Um, Sam Ovens in school, it's like that, you know, the colorful school logo. Well, mine is gonna be Grand Theft Auto. So I went ahead and I found this app, and basically what this app does is it takes a photo and it turns it into a GTA style caricature. So if you look at this right here, now they're not perfect. Honestly, this app is on a free trial. It's like $30 a year, but compared to some of like the, the, the results I'm getting from Fiverr, I'm talking to people on Fiverr right now. These are decent results for a free app. I mean, some of them doesn't look like me. Like here, you see this one has hair. This one, I look like I've been tanning for some time. This one, I got a strong jawline, right? But remember, this is just a test. I, I like it. It looks kind of cool. And so I like the theme. So when somebody lands on my page, they can instantly see that I'm going for a GTA style theme from the from the highlight covers into these caricatures uh, here with my pin post, which you talked about in the school funnel. So if you're watching this video for the first time, I'm assuming you watched my school funnel video. If not, please go watch that video where I talk about when somebody lands on your page when we're running Instagram ads or using the story AI software that we're going to want to have three pin posts that tells people your story talk, points people to your school group and then one is a testimonial or a case study okay so we went ahead and I got those updated and I told you right now I'm testing this GTA style theme whether I want to pay somebody $25 to make really nice professional ones, or if I want to use a $30 a year app where I can make unlimited versions of these kind of mediocre style um, pages, but I just want to go to see what it looks like. I spent a couple hours last night doing that. Next thing, this is so important. It goes back to that mindset principle, which I've talked about many times that the difference as you guys know, my first business was mindset, right? That's my first seven figures was teaching mindset. That I believe is the most important thing. If you want to have six figure businesses, you must first become a person who's worthy of a six figure business. So what I did was I last night wrote down something called I become list. And I wrote down what exactly do I want to accomplish here in the next three to six months. And those are, I want to have 10,000 people in my school community. I want to be making at least $30,000 a month from my school community. And I want at least 10,000 um, followers on my brand new Instagram account, which I just started two months ago. So I want 10,000, 10,000, 30,000. And I wrote down, who do I need to become as DeAndre? Who do I need to become in order to achieve that? And I wrote down a list of everything from authenticity to teaching and documenting rather than saying I'm an expert and being really valuable in, in not trying to extract from my group, but really trying to give people as much as possible, not trying to sell them all the time, but really focusing on relationships, right? There's all these different things that I, I wrote down and I said, this is the DeAndre who, that I need to become in order to achieve those results, which is 10,000, 10,000, 30,000. So I did this, I become worksheet and maybe I'll go ahead and I'll put that also in the school community because a lot of these things I'm doing it myself and I'm not really making it to like sell to anybody or to teach to anybody but if you guys want it just let me know in, the, in this comments section below i'll put it in the school community i'll organize all these things that i do to build businesses and i'll give it to you guys for free 
And uh, so now let's talk about where we're at right now. So right now I'm, I'm in a nice little lounge where I scripted a brand new Instagram follower ad, which I'll be launching tonight and then getting that out there to get new people into my school community. So we, I went ahead and scripted and recorded new ads and here's the script right here. And I'm literally, guys, I'm taking you behind the scenes. I'm not hiding anything. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I truly just want to give you guys as much value as possible. So in this ad, here's what we wrote. Do you want to build a six-figure school community so you can drive exotic cars, smoke cigars, date hot girls, shoot guns, live in foreign luxury locations, and do fun activities? If so, join my school group. It's free. I ain't trying to sell you shit. I just want to find a business. I just want to find other businessmen that like the same things as me. In the group, I'm documenting how I plan to scale my personal brand to 100000 a month using school communities all for free. So if you like, if you like the same things as me... You can, or sorry, if you like the group, you can share it with your friend. If it sounds like you, follow me here on Instagram. Check out my past content and see if it, if it resonates with you. From there, you can find my school group. So I literally, that's the exact ad. Now, I did change some of the things like uh, off the top of my head, but... For the most part, that's about 80% of the ad that I just scripted right now, and I'm, I'm going to edit it right after I got done editing this YouTube video, get it launched tonight, and start getting new followers behind um, into my funnel. So make sure you tap in on tomorrow's video on day number four, where I'll talk about how I launched the video, how the steps, the systems, and everything, so you can see how exactly I'm getting people into my school community. So... I know it's a lot, guys, but I'm t- like I said, I'm, t- I'm revealing everything right here. So let's talk about some of the problems that I'm having in my business. And here's my number one problem that I'm having right now is right now, Instagram is giving me a watch out for scam alert inside my bio. I don't know if it's just my, my account. I saw that this morning that it was happening to another girl. I clicked on her profile. I saw a similar message. But it, right now, if somebody goes on my bio and they click the link, there's this alert that says, hey, watch out for, for potential scams, which is clearly a big red flag, especially if I'm running ads and running traffic. So, I, like I said, I don't know if it's my account. That's because it's new. I don't know what's going on. If it's an algorithm update, um, I just don't know. So that's a problem I'm trying to solve right now. So the way to mitigate that is I applied for Meta Verified once again. If you guys remember, my other account that got deactivated about two months ago was Meta Verified. So obviously that's going to help me out tremendously when it comes to these kind of alerts. So I went ahead and signed up for the waiting list to see if I can go ahead and get that done. So that's my number one problem that I'm trying to uh, uh, overcome. So what are my next steps right now? Well, my next steps are to edit, post, and launch this new follower ad, which I just created right now. It's on the memory drive on this very camera I'm filming with. So I got to get that edited and then I got to get this YouTube video posted. So I got to get that ad launched because every day that I go without launching ads is a day that I have less people in my group. I'm not growing and potentially growing my income, growing my community and growing. So I need to get those ads out as soon as possible. So this is, I only made one ad. We're going to launch it, put some energy behind it, really good editing, get that going. So by tomorrow we can cover that. And then final thing is I need to make a teaching style video for the school course or the YouTube channel. So right now I've been making a lot of documenting style style videos as you know this this journey but i have to do some teaching stuff how to actually build a funnel how to do the brand page how to do a theme page all these different things that i'm doing i need to make a teaching style video which i can then put inside the course section within the school community inside that school funnel section so guys that was an update on day three so make sure you tap in subscribe below we'll be back here tomorrow for day four showing you exactly what i'm doing to scale my school community and if this is something where you want to go to the next level you want to learn get the exact worksheets step by step organized i'm not selling you guys anything i just really want to just attract great people you can go ahead and check the link in the description below you'll find my school community i'm assuming you're probably already in there or you should be joining it if you're watching this video right now get in there introduce yourself and let's grow together gentlemen let's make things happen i'll see you guys tomorrow